afternoon guys we're actually doing a sort of training session sort of not technically back in the saddle yet no one is back in ridden work um sienna wasn't really ever backed either last year so i had a very sneaky little sit on her the other day but that was it she popped up and sat in the saddle go for a couple of steps of walk and then jumped down um so she's had about a month off and i thought it might be time to bring her back in only because she is in full time She's been very good, but she's definitely at times a little more wired, obviously. You know, she's a three-year-old. She would much rather be out in the field. I don't blame her. Um, so I thought maybe it's time to start bringing her back into a little bit of work. And long reining is such an excellent way to work youngsters. Also, you know, it's a good way to start preparing her for ridden work. So here are three exercises I really like to do with my lot long reining. Again, it doesn't have to just be a young horse. You could have an older horse who would equally benefit from doing some long reins. So the first thing I've got over here is my cross poles. I don't know what you'd call it. They're just cross poles laid out with poles. Now, this works particularly well because I've got the foam sort of square poles, as you can see. If you've just got normal poles, you're just going to have to use four and make a big cross on the ground. But that still works probably just as well. Um, so they are slightly raised. them really thin, as you can see. I'll try and set back a bit. Kept them really thin because obviously I don't want her trying to leap over them or anything like that. I'm intending on doing them in just walk. But again, this exercise is perfect for trying to keep them straight because obviously youngsters, youngsters especially, tend to to wobble quite a lot they don't tend to stay straight they tend to collapse through the shoulders and their hindquarters so i'm always looking at exercises which mean the horses have to work on their own strength keeping them straight making them thinking forward so you can see here i've just done these nice narrow crosses where they literally you just walk them over them while you're long reining them and hopefully it'll hopefully just send her nice and straight um, while also getting her to pick up her feet And now, the next one along, again, working on straightness. When you're long reining, I find horses tend to either just go wherever they want and you end up just following them round, or they really stick to the fence, which is not ideal long term because obviously you don't want your horses using the fence as like a crutch and leaning against it. So this is another good exercise where you're funneling them and keeping them nice and straight down this pole tunnel. I like to try and halt them within the poles. Again, stopping them from if they go to halt and they want to, let me zoom out a little bit, um, stopping that if they halt and then they tend to collapse or shift their weight one way which happens all the time you see it when people halt in the dressage chest and the horse's quarters fall out this is a way to start introducing them to actually halting straight you can make these narrower i've started with them quite wide here then we go through just a single white pole again just making sure then does she stay straight or does she fall out the sides back into another tunnel where i'll halt again and this one's a little bit narrower Third exercise is long reining your horse through corners. So here I've set up half a square and this is quite tricky for a young horse. Um, they don't find it very easy. It's quite hard to actually manage to get them to long rein through the corner correctly. But this is great for suppleness work. So when they truly bend their body through that corner, also great for starting to teach or introduce the horse into sitting a little bit on their hindquarters, taking a little bit of weight behind because as they work their way through the corner, you should be able to see this when you're long reining if they're starting to get the idea of it, is that they, you, with their inside hind leg, they take it through and under themselves properly. And as they do this, they should start to create that little bit of sit, taking the weight behind and also then coming up more in the front. So again, really good exercise to try with them. Last exercise and a little nod to thinking ahead to dressage arenas and arena boards is lining the poles out in a long row like I've done here and just long reining your horse up and down the line of poles. This is working on straightness, working on your horse, starting to learn to kind of think about where they're putting their feet and supporting themselves because often horses tend to lean against the fencing of an arena and use it as a bit of a crutch and when you sort of finally get them to a dressage competition and put them in between those boards you tend to find they go like jelly um, and fall out through the shoulders or the hind quarters drop out so this is a good start to teaching the horse to staying straight and not leaning against a fence so they have to support themselves so now time to bring my young horse out and give these exercises a whirl i think she's going to find them pretty tricky so to start with, I just walked my horse around in hand over the little poles and the exercises set up just so she could have a little look, take it all in um, before I started long rein reining her. So there was no big surprises to her. And also just to give her an idea of how the exercises worked. 
So here we go. So Sienna is still pretty wobbly. So I found this sort of tunnel effect exercise really good for her because once she came out of the kind of tunnel of poles, she tended to wobble over that middle pole. So it was good to then get her attention back for the next set of tunnel poles, as I'm going to call them. Um, and then round to these cross poles. For these, I really left her to it. I wanted her to work it out for herself, think about where she was putting her feet. And I like the fact that she dropped her head down to look where she was going. That was really pleasing to see from her see even when she sort of popped over them and stood on one that's what's so great about these foam poles um it wasn't going to frighten her or anything like that again she actually found this part of the exercise really hard and here you can see she totally veered off in that middle pole but again the tunnel poles were there ready to catch her and kind of entice her back into staying straight which is really important and she's quite a, a jolly mare and quite keen to do stuff so sometimes her attention was not always on the job again here you can see she actually did a really cute little jump so again there's no stress i didn't get cross with her or worried about her i just left her to it to work it out for herself again coming out of the tunnel pole she had a real issue about <laughs> staying straight you can see she absolutely wibbled bobbled all over the place what was also great about the tunnel poles is when i asked for a halt in them i don't think i've got any clips of them but when i asked for a halt in them she tends to get quite fidgety about that and gets quite upset and the tunnel poles stopped her from spinning and turning on her hindquarters so that was really helpful now on to the exercise again these two are kind of modeled together the corners and riding straight lines she found this really really hard um and it was very difficult to get the bend through the corners on a young horse. You see, sometimes she got a bit over keen into the corner. It was quite hard for me to see behind whereabouts and when to turn her. And also it's tricky because I've been long reining her over poles and she's been walking over them. And then suddenly today I was like, actually, you've got to go past them. You're not meant to walk over them. So, you know, quite confusing for her. Here, here you can see she pretty much did a quarter pirouette there because she sort of came bowling in and then I had to give her quite a half halt. But what's lovely is I'm seeing signs that she can sit on her hindquarters and already getting that lovely sit and turn through her. It's really exciting, I have to say. This And I've already said this, I'm just repeating myself, but the lovely thing about long rein is you really get to see already some of your horse's highlights. For me, I can see that Sienna has the ability to sit and has power there. She does really struggle with staying straight and sort of when she comes out of the corner, she tended to really wobble all over the place. So she couldn't sort of, she could go through the corner, but she couldn't then drive herself forward. So this is why this exercise is going to long term, going to really help her out. Um, I like that she keeps her head and neck down. Also, when she did kind of veer off, you could nearly slightly leg yield her back in which was nice to see. Again, here, she kind of came in a bit too quick, so it was quite an abrupt turn through the corner. Here, I went to going around the outside of the poles, which she found a little bit easier, but again, it was lovely to be able to sort of try and nearly control her hindquarters, make her sit a little bit as you went round the corner. Um, it was really good to see. Again, he sort of nearly gave a little half hole, asked her to wait, and then she crossed over with the front legs, which was lovely, just what I was looking for from her. Um, and the more she did, the calmer she got, and the more she started to understand um, so this was really, really pleasing work. Like I say, she was very wobbly and really struggled with the straightness, which is something she's going to have to really work on with her. But actually, her corners weren't too bad. One of the things is difficult when you're long reining is to get that bend from the horse. Um, they they find it quite hard on the in the early age stages, I should say. Then, because you're doing a lot of sort of exact work, you know, trying to get them to stay straight, trying to get them to go steady, it's quite nice to finish up letting them go a little bit more forward again. So you nearly want to open them up again because the problem with long reining is you can end up it being quite tight and everything quite sort of up together and short because you don't want them going too quickly. So it's nice at the end just to open them up and let them have a bit more freedom and let them move forward a little bit. So here I'm just doing lunging her with the double reins, which is nice so we can keep an eye on those quarters. And then to finish with while I was walking, Walking around and cooling her off I just went back to some of the exercises and because she had now you know used a bit of energy up she was quite relaxed and quite quiet she did the corners better so I hope that can help if you like long reining